Excuse me, excuse me, public service announcement. Yeah! Hey, I'ma put her on the smut. Smut. Dude. This for all the smuts. Smut. <laughs> I know y'all might be mad, but nobody cares. Hey, yeah. I'ma put her on the smut list. I'ma down. Smut list. I'ma yeah. down. I mean, who knows? The world probably I'm forgot about Ty Crane. The world probably forgot about Team Crane. All that good stuff. The world probably forgot about Come On, Son. Yep. Wait. Come On, Son. Come on, Son. Get out of here, Son. I'm back, Son. Y'all yeah, see, uh, I do this all the time, man. Every time you think that I'm gone, I come back. For all you people that thought I was gone, hold up. We showed up. Come on, I'm never going. Now. Now that I'm back, established, all that good stuff. I'm in college, college boy now. See that dorm? That's a come on son of me. I don't care. Kind of junkie. I don't care. Nettie Haynes is not here to tell me clean my room. Nana, I love you. Yep. College. But I got a couple good boys to give out. First off, Bethune Cookman University. You this Christian Methodist school, whatever. But your rules... Got all the females on campus going gay. Why? 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 Because you separate the male and female race from each other like we're a bunch of like we're a bunch of animals. We're not animals. I have witnessed so many straight girls start liking pussy, start liking titties. Because they can't come in our room. I mean, oh, what's wrong? This this is a human race thing. Can I make my point? Animals. Whether you like it or not, humans are animals. We're just more developed, a little more organized. Animals, meaning lions, dogs, cats, lions, tigers, and bears. Jasmine Sullivan, I used to like that song. Anyway, lions, tigers, and bears. They like sex too. Animals love sex too. We're animals. We love sex. Get over it. Sex is a big part of the human race. Whether you want to accept it or not. Instance. Sex can be the difference between if a girl cheats on you or not. Sex can be the difference between if a girl cooks you a meal when you come from a hard day at work. To my ladies, sex can be the difference between if a guy cheats on you or not. Not me, I'm, I'm a good dude. You know what I mean? Prince Charming. Anyway, sex can be a big thing. Not saying I'm the, this big sex addict, but I'm just saying. Sex has been manipulated into this bad feature by the human race how sex is just simply something to pass on the genes of a human race mating every species mate so why have we humans created this phenomenon that sex is such a bad thing it's not crack it's not alcohol it's sex get over it people it's a part of life now, only thing it is, is a way to continue the genes in a human race. That's all it is. Why are people horny? We don't know, but scientifically... <laughs> people get horny because all animals have the tendency to want to continue their genes. That's it. It's not because you're a sex addict. It's not because you lust. Humans have created this bad thing with sex that has to be reversed. Simple as that. We have to stop it. We must stop it. We must. It has to stop. Sometime. Stop. That's right. But the question is, how? How do we get to the point we stop thinking so bad about sex? We have to get back in tune with our beastie animal side. It's not our fault. We came to America. We was in Africa, naked, barely anything going. They bring us to America. Look, they got me wearing t-shirts. Speaking of the way, like that shirt is now in stores. That's right, don't say that word. High is a bad word. You smoke weed? I don't smoke. You smoke marijuana? Your eyes start feeling heavy and low. You start feeling dizzy? 
Say like that. Don't say hi. That's a bad word. But anyway, we need to get back in touch with our animal side. Point blank, people. We need to go in the jungle, take a, bang, a couple bangs on the chest, and get back with our animal side. Sex is not this bad thing that society wants you to make it. They even made a disease. Government made HIV to make sex look bad. My question is, what did sex ever do to anybody? Only thing sex did was make me and you be here. Because once upon a time, we were all just a small cell. About a million, probably smaller than that, the size of this penny in our pops nutsack. Sorry to put it that way, folks. We were all sperm in our pops nutsack. But sex released us and revolutionized us and enfranchised us. And now, I can pop shit on a blog like this. So, thanks, sex. Everybody, say thank you, sex. Mike, come here. Mike Peterson, Mike Crane. One of the, one of the people that's going to be featured in the Ty Crane Text reality show. Mike Crane, say thank you, sex. Thank you, sex. Thank you, sex. Thank you, sex. Because I'm no longer a sperm in my, in my pop's nut sacks because of you. Sex is not a bad thing. But don't cook, man. Deborah Reed, President Reed, whatever you read you want to call yourself. Sex is not a bad thing. You're here because of sex, too. Change it. I want to have girls in my room. Chilling. That's right. On that note, Ty Crane, good to get reconnected with you people. All my original fans who knew me since. Come on, Ty. And all my present fans or future friends, whatever that you want to see. See you the first episode. That's all, folks. We out. I'm a dog. I met this girl from Kenan and she say she do it all.